Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the previous video, we did some Windfall side quests that culminated in us heading out to the Great Sea to find a handful of crazy cool rewards, basically 100 rupees and a heart piece. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some main story progression. There are two things we need to accomplish before we can reach the next dungeons of the game. We can try to go to the islands marked on our map right now, that being um, this island up here, Gale Isle, and this island down here, Headstone Isle. We will find that they are both trapped in some way. There is an obstacle preventing us from gaining access. So in today's video, we're going to uh, go ahead and prevent that from stopping us any further. If we were to go to Gale Isle, we have been to Gale Isle before. There are very strong bursts of wind that prevent us from entering the island. And Headstone Isle, all the way down here, is blocked by a giant stone in front of the door. So we're going to need to take care of both of these things. Thankfully, we've learned from the map fish and just from general knowledge of the games that there are cool prizes lying within these different uh, islands. There's Fire Mountain, and also there is Ice Ring Isle. Now, we were told we need something in order to actually gain access to these because the fire is too hot and the ice is too cold. Well, I just so happen to have something that, according to a certain magical tiny fairy lady, it's supposed to melt the hottest, or melt the coldest ice and freeze the hottest fire. If we shoot a fire arrow at the fire mountain, we will freeze it. Now, this is a temporary freeze, as you will see as soon as the cutscene ends. We have about five minutes in order to complete the task here. That is not a totally large amount of time. We also need more magic. Holy lord. That's not good. So we are on the clock, but I'm not too concerned. I think we will be okay. There are cargo rocks here that we shouldn't really need to worry about. Let's go up this way, actually. I think this is the proper way. Sometimes these places have, a, you know, slower ways you can access the peak. We want to take the fastest route there so that we can get there faster. Um, let's go ahead and change our items, actually. Alright, so let's put the bow on this, we'll put Deku Leaf here, and we'll get the boomerang out. And is the wind in our favor right now? It is the opposite of in our favor. It's the opposite of in our favor. Oh, yikes. Okay, well, this is not superb. Oh, we're, wow, we are, we are in a losing battle. Okay, so it looks like, uh... My attempt at speed has caused us to actually fall very so far behind. Um, this is bad, and there's no way to... Uh, we lost a full minute from that. Do I feel confident anymore? I don't even know if I'm confident. I'm probably going to get in with two minutes left on the clock, or yeah, like 2.59. Um, we'll see what's going to happen, I guess. Worst comes to worst, we end up uh, taking a bit of an L, eh? But I don't think that's going to happen. I feel confident in us, not with the way we're performing right now, but just in our general abilities as Zelda gamers. Okay, so let's go ahead and slide across here. Of course, jumping with the Deku Leaf would have been faster, but I didn't set the wind properly and blah, blah, blah. So we're just going to have to sidle across, and it does look like we will be on par unless I fall off the edge, which I almost did. Perfect. As we reach the peak of the mountains, you will see there is a place we can enter. And so we will enter. 3.07 left on the clock. Here we go. Some fire keys are here. And we're going to want to take these fire keys out. All right. There is a exit right there. But as you can see, it is blocked by giant rocks. We have to be a little careful. Hello. And goodbye. And same to you, other fire keys. Hello and goodbye. Perfect. We can reach over to here. Two of these guys, the Magtails, are now here. And thankfully, we can defeat the Magtails with our sword. Our very powerful sword. Alrighty. Defeating all the enemies causes a chest to spawn. We are interested in this chest. In fact, or chest. Chest with a T. We're very interested in this chest. It's in fact the whole reason we came here. Breaking it open will reveal... The power bracelets. Both arms are now even stronger than ever. 
Press A to grab and lift large objects. So, if we ever see faces on rocks like this, we can grab them and throw them. Allowing us to have free access to Headstone Isle. That's why it's called Headstones, because the stone is shaped like a head. It's not like a gravestone. Clean out these last two guys. You'll notice the timer goes away as well, by the way, once we finish the, uh, the challenge. So yeah, we're free to roam now. We just need to leave. The next place we need to head is Ice Ring Isle. Oh, but we need magic. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's perfect. Because Ice Ring Isle is right next to Forest Haven. And Forest Haven is known for having magic drops. So we can head to Forest Haven first. There we are. And then we will pick up some magic and sail to the west to Ice Ring Isle. Now this was Fire Mountain. We took care of it with an ice arrow. You can assume Ice Ring Isle. We will take care of using a fire arrow. It just makes sense. Alrighty, perfect. So now let's uh, pay a quick visit to the actual main island. I have to remember I can pull out the Wind Waker to stop on a dime. I, I forget to do that. I just kind of ram the boat into a wall and jam down the B button and wait for it to slow down on its own. Do you have magic? No, but these up here will have magic. No way they don't. No way they don't have magic. There they are. Here's some magic. Let's get some more though. Just in case. We have to be a little careful because if we run out of magic... And we, there we go. Now we've got plenty. Yeah, if we were to run out of magic... Um, oh, is that another magic jar? It is. There we go. We would be unable to uh, fire off the elemental arrows because the elemental arrows require us to have magic power. We need to go just about the opposite way. This is the way we need to go. Past the, uh, the Forsaken, or the Forbidden Woods. It's very odd how the Forbidden Woods looks. They've got those weird spines growing off them. It's, it's an interesting building design. Building design. I mean, uh, area design? Mountain design? It, it's pretty cool, is what I'm trying to say. I'm just not doing it properly. Alrighty. Now we are approaching the Ice Mountain. You can see the mist coming off of it dead ahead. And it is very creepy mist. Very creepy mist indeed. Alrighty, as we approach it though, you will notice that it uh, has a, a very easy to spot maw, which is a special name for a mouth. And we can fire into that maw if we were close enough. Oh, I hit it actually, that's surprising. And it will freeze! Just what the doctor ordered. Alright, boom. As we approach, you'll notice there is a frozen chest. We can actually uh, obtain this chest if we so choose. Just by using another fire arrow, we can go ahead and open this up. Another five minute timer will appear on the bottom, of course. We need to be wary of that. This gets us a treasure chart, which is obviously a worthwhile reward, so it's a good thing we did not pass on that. Link is sliding around on ice. And you cannot stop him in any specific way. I'm jamming. Oh wait, maybe you can. Let's see. Can we stop on a dime? You can sort of stop on a dime if you need to pull out the Wind Waker. So I guess there's a little bit of a, uh, a cheap way to do so. Most importantly, we just want to focus on our movement. We need to make sure that we are nice and steady. As you notice, as we go up here, we will slide down because this is angled. So we will need to slide... Uh, into the appropriate area as not to lose too much balance. There's five rupees right there. Anyone want five rupees? You can claim it with the boomerang. Now we need to be nice and easy here. Very careful. Ice skating is easy if you're wearing ice skates. I would assume it's rather difficult if you're wearing adventuring boots. Okay. We can wait for this to come up. That was a clutch grab. As always, Deku Leaf can be your friend if you need it to be. I, for one, am good without the Deku Leaf, though. We can climb right into the... Kind of like a wolf, I guess, or like a, a dog or something. Into the maw, which is another... It's another word for mouth. Okay, 3 minutes and 27 seconds as we enter the interior. This uh, Ice Mountain, or Ice Ring Isle, is probably a little cooler. I think it's potentially a little more fun. You can see there's a pathway to the left, but there is 
A large burst of wind that is blocking us from going that way. Very similar to the burst of wind on Gale Isle. Okay, have to be careful here. There are enemies afoot. We can always use our arrows here to get fairies. Okay. We can also clear out a little bit of the keys in this area. I somehow locked onto both of them right there. Okay, we have to do some sliding now. Mario 64, anyone? Do, do, wham, wham, wow, no. That's it. Hey, cool, a chest. Let's open it up. What is there to find? We get ourselves the iron boots. These boots are so heavy you can hardly walk, but the wind can't blow you around when you wear these. And as usual, the light will allow us to leave. So ladies and gentlemen, we now have the crazy items of the iron boots, which you can see right here, and the power bracelets, which are right here. If you want to use the iron boots, you have to equip them like an item, as you would see in um, Ocarina of Time 3D. And with it, we can walk through the crazy wind and even find a secret hole to drop down. Dropping down the secret hole allows us to go to an area with some frozen enemies. Of course, they won't be frozen for long, as I assume you know. Oh, we're going to need the grappling hook, because I see something I want to loot. Not really a skull necklace, not particularly interested in the skull necklace, in all honesty. But there is an iron knuckle right here, some bokoblins right there, and another moblin. So we'll take down the, mo the second moblin, I suppose. We'll take down the second moblin first. Wow, I can't believe I actually hit a spin attack. And, I mean, a quick spin, not just a normal spin attack. That would be bad if he had hit me in there. There we go. But yeah, don't forget to take the iron boots off if you're engaging in this fight. There we go, got a skull necklace. Have to melt away this as well. Oh, these guys are important, actually, because they give... What do you give? Oh, and yep, the uh, joy pendants, which we do need. Alrighty. And lastly... We have this gentleman right here, the Dark Nut. We did start behind him, but no, we can't just uh, poke his armor off. There we are. Poking off his armor makes him easy peasy to deal with. And we can take off his Knight's Crest as well, which we are going to need for an upcoming little side endeavor. I want to pick up his own sword to use against him. Hey, Karate Master. Oh, hey, that is a Bokoblin stick you just picked up. I mean, a Moblin stick. There we go, we took care of him. And defeating all the enemies will unlock another chest. It is a second bonus chest of this area. We got the one outside, which was a treasure chart. And now we have access to this one right here as well, which we can open up and get 100 rupees. A fair little prize indeed. Nice little reward to get, I would say. Voila. And with that, we can leave. We are free to exit the island as we see fit. If you equip the iron boots on the ice, you won't slip and slide around, which is good if you have more ice exploration to do. However, we are done with ice exploration. We've done the two things we needed to do. Now, technically, we could walk right into either one of the Story Progress Islands, which is really, really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take a peek at the treasure chart. We do have one we got, right? Yep, there it is, treasure chart 36. We're gonna have to pick that one up uh, later on, but that is actually going to be it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Until then, as always, take care.